DUI Guide Chapter 2, what are the penalties for a DUI? Now, if you're convicted of a DUI charge, whether you entered a guilty plea or you were found guilty after a trial, you're going to face a series of serious penalties. Now, first, you're going to automatically be prohibited from driving. Now, this driving prohibition is Canada-wide. And you're also going to be subject to a fine, jail, or probation, or some combination of all three. Now, you're going to face a range of penalties. And the reason why it's the serious nature of DUI charges. And because of this serious nature, the lawmakers have given the judge a wide range of penalties to be applied to your case based upon the specific facts of your case. Now, generally speaking, the more severe your case's facts are, for example, if someone was hurt or killed in an accident, then the more severe the penalty you're going to face. However, the judge, they're just not free to do whatever he or she wants. The judge must follow specific sentencing guidelines. Now, these minimum sentence guidelines the judge has to follow. And conversely, there are maximum limits to which the judge can impose against you. Generally, it's between the minimum and maximum penalties where the judge has flexibility in the penalties that you face. So let's go through this in a little more detail. What are the minimum and maximum penalties that you're going to face with a DUI conviction? Now, the minimum sentence that you're going to face depends on whether you've been convicted of a DUI charge before. Now, for a first offense, it's minimum $1,000 fine plus a 12-month driving prohibition. For a second offense, it's 30 days jail and a 24-month driving prohibition. And for a third or subsequent offense, minimum 120 days jail and a 36-month driving prohibition. Now, on the other side are the maximum. So let's talk about the maximum sentences sentences that you can face and and th these maximums really are going to depend on how the crown intends to prosecute your case and whether someone was hurt or killed as a result of your DUI. Now if no one was hurt or killed the crown has the option to proceed with your case in a relatively less severe context and, and that context is known as proceeding by summary conviction. In this case the maximum jail time you could face would be 18 months of jail. Now, if the Crown chooses to proceed with your charge in a much more serious manner, this is known as proceeding by indictment. And in this case, the maximum charge that you will face will be five years of jail. Now, if another person was hurt and suffered you know, significant bodily harm because of your DOI, the maximum sentence that you will face will be 10 years of jail. And if another person was killed because of your DUI, the maximum sentence you would face would be life in prison. Now that brings up, are there any other penalties that you can face? And the answer is yes. Um, both federal and provincial driving suspension. So as we said, you're going to face a driving prohibition from the Criminal Code of Canada, which is federal law. But you're also going to be facing a license suspension under provincial laws. Second, you may be subject to civil lawsuits. So if you hurt or killed another person in the context of your DUI charge, that other party may launch a civil lawsuit against you. Now, in a criminal context, the burden of proof is beyond a reasonable doubt. But in a civil lawsuit, the burden of proof is only a balance of probabilities, which is significantly less than the criminal context. And because you were convicted in a criminal context, you most likely will lose any civil case against you. And finally, if you're able to drive again, your insurance will dramatically increase because your DUI conviction is going to place you in a high risk category. And if you can drive again, the cost to get insurance will increase significantly.